about this thing. So use effect is uh, uh, one of the hook. So this will help us to replicate uh, the lifecycle methods, whatever available for class component, right? So in the class component, have a component, a will mount, component, did mount, and component did, uh, component did uh, unmount. So these are the three uh, major lifecycle methods for the class component. Let's jump into the code. So effect.js. So okay, I think no need this file. We can go with the same file. Mm, yeah. So as usual, uh, we need to import use effect, right? So we have the use effect, import there. And after that, what we need to do, we need to use effect inside the component. And use effect syntax. Right. So this is the actual use effect syntax. In general, we use uh, we are not use any return method within the use effect. But uh, this use effect also have three parts. So the first part will be the first part will be the function. You can see the arrow function. Within the arrow function, actually the entire logic will be there. Right. So which means uh, like this. So this is the entire function we have. This is one, this is the first part. Uh, as a you as a developer can write his own logic uh, within the function. The second one, this one. This is actually in, uh, uh, the dependency section. So if we add any dependency here, uh, whenever the depend dependency data updated at that time only, use effect will trigger. If you are not provide any dependency, it will trigger only one time. So that is the thing. And the third thing, this is this return return statement. Uh, this return statement help you to clean up uh, your thing. So how the component uh, did unmount, right? So that uh, lifecycle method, whatever that's a lifecycle method did, the exact thing we can do within this return statement. So the simple thing is, so uh, the above part will be the subscription, subscription for the function. And here, this is the unsubscription uh, unsubscription for all of all the subscriptions, right? So here you can do, you can set the state, you can uh, update the state, you can add the variables, you can do the memos, everything you can do here. But when you leave from this component to another component, at that time, if you want to uh, control the data leaking, so you need to use the return statement within this, you need to uh, clear all the variables, which means you can unsubscribe, unsubscribe all the subscription. So these are the three parts uh, for the use effect. So we, we already seen whenever uh, the use effect is triggered, right? So like uh, uh, here, I'm using a counter uh, for count set count zero. I'm go to put here count plus plus count always plus one and go into showcase. This count save it and go back there. Okay. Right, save it, go back. You can see uh, only one time the use effect is triggered, right? And whenever uh, the data update updation is happened, at that time also use effect will trigger. For example, I am copy this uh, this particular title and put here as array dependency. So whenever the title change, at that time this count value also change. Save it and go back, um, refresh the page. The defaultly uh, the counter will uh, update only one time the use effect is called, right? So that's a count. If, the, if we start typing, so every time, whenever the title is, whenever the title is updated, at that time, this use effect is again and again calling, right? So if we, if you copy description, replace with title and save, uh, go back and refresh the page, by default, it's called one time. If you change title, use effect doesn't call, but when it start disturbing the description, at that time, it start increasing. So this is the way we can, uh, uh, we can understood uh, Whatever the dependency we are at that time, we can replicate a component did update. So this thing is happened. So in the initial time, uh, it will 
it will run with component will mount right so this will happen so when it will be, when it will happen for uh, the component component will unmount right this thing will taking care of this particular written uh, method this uh, this is the place actually we need to write um, i will tell you how to do that uh, and the uh, when we are implementing the routing and all right at that time i will explain you